Welcome everyone to Half History Will Travel. I am your host, the Wilder Historian, and I wanted to highlight an item that I think every history teacher from college on down should utilize in their classroom, history battle cards. I found the Instagram page for the battle cards and started up a conversation with the owner and creator of the game. He has a passion for history and teaching children about how cool history can be. When I informed him that I wanted to do a review of his game, he was thrilled and he wanted to know what I thought of his game. I am so impressed with the amount of detail on the cards and the knowledge that students can gain from simply playing that I wanted to make sure as many people as possible know about them. These cards feature characters from American and world history. Of course, I was drawn to the cards featuring Civil War characters. The game is simple, but the children need to have basic reading and math skills to play the game. But once the kids learn how the game works, they will be intrigued and analyze each character to figure out the strengths and weaknesses of each one based on the actual lives of those people. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how did a college professor incorporate a game into his classroom? Well, I don't have my students play the game, but I do encourage them to use the cards to analyze how historical characters have been remembered. One example of this is William T. Sherman. One of his abilities on the card is Total War. Although most people associate Sherman with Total War, historians are actually pulling away from that interpretation and labeling his style of warfare as hard war, but not a total war. One of my first videos I ever created was about this transition in the historical community. Even the small things on these cards are educational and can be used to dive deeper into a topic. On the Andrew Jackson card, it lists him as the first common man president, and common man is in quotes. That is perfect because even though he was portrayed that way, he was a wealthy elite planner, even though he did come from more humble beginnings. Another detail I loved is like on the John Wilkes Booth card. If he is played against Abraham Lincoln, the president is automatically knocked out of the game. This way, students associate Booth with Lincoln. If you want to order a set of the battle cards, the link to the Etsy store is in the description. Even if you don't plan to order them, check them out nonetheless and tell your friends, family, or acquaintances about this awesome educational opportunity. It makes learning fun, and the students will gain a wealth of knowledge about world history simply by playing a game.